Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. Today we're going to make Roundup Posts, which is where you take a number of different ones of your uh, e-commerce products. And I'm going to show you, you can do it with your vintage products, you can do it with your um, print-on-demand products like my store is. You can do it with uh, your handmade products, things like that. So what you want to do is get some pictures you probably have your listing pictures so i don't know if that would be a great one it might be a good one for a roundup but i'm personally doing my uh halloween ones today so i have i'm gonna do mostly these two bags which are um i'm gonna advertise as trick-or-treat bags for the first set of pins i'm gonna make i may also do a um a fun set where i do like the journals clipboards, I have a little pencil case, but for right now, what we're going to be doing is making um, product pins with Canva, okay? So here I went and got some of my old vintage ones, so you can see, like, you can do this with anything. I would have, you know, if you have cute Halloween decorations, you're going to do that. If you're, um, my friend Kara sells cake toppers. If she has cute cake toppers for Halloween, she could have those. It doesn't matter. Um, I am doing branding. Uh, Wizard of Alice is my Etsy shop. You can do branding. You could just put your um, website link. It doesn't matter. Um, on my marketing artfully ones, oftentimes I won't even use branding, but because my branding's so cute, I'm going to use it on this one. So, first off, I have all these wicked cool mock-ups already made. So, what I did was functionally I have this, uh, this is the graphic for the T or for the um, bags. I have another square graphic that's just the, where is it? Just the, um, the pattern I made for it. But then I went to a site called Place It, which is wicked cheap. It's like seven dollars a month and you can do a million things with it it's very pleasurable um and so if you're selling print on demand or anything like that it it puts your um things in a mock-up so um here we all you do is you you're going to upload original things so it, for you if you're um selling you know not print on demand if you're physically making your own uh pencil cases or something like that you could take a picture of it with like the pattern of the fabric so it doesn't have to like you don't have to make it weird you can just like this is especially for pinterest this is just a fun representation of your product in a lifestyle photo right so it's not perfect it doesn't fit perfectly it'll be fine it all will be well and then we're going to crop it and then it just sticks it now that's not my halloween one i'm just showing you how to do this and yes i will have links to all these fabulous things in the description below all the things i use so oh there it is so then it's on there i have the um lifestyle pictures so i've already made a bunch of lifestyle pictures and uploaded them to canva which is the tool that i use i am good at photoshop and the reason i don't use photoshop is because of these little happy squares that canva has you don't have to do anything like with photoshop i had to import it i had to crop it myself i had to format it but this i can just slide this over so i am going to oops not do that darn it I'm going to slide this over into one of these places, right? And I'm going to just, well, that, that is you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Let's try this in a different one. I think those will work better. I think it's because that's a tall one. I think that's because that's, a, there we go. And then when you double click it, you can move it up, right? So now there's a cute picture of my bag. I need one that's sort of in the middle for, or kind of middle bottom for this one. That one was at the very bottom. Let's do this one. And it's just because of how I have this one picture formatted. Oh, look, that's a cute bag. It shows up cute. 
Here's one on the, um, oh, they're all different sizes. How weird. I don't know if I like that. What is going on? Okay. Oh, no, they're not all different sizes. It's just how that's cropped. Okay, so there's that one showing up there. I would also like, so for it to be cute, I guess I didn't make that bag. Yeah, this one's taller. This little wooden thing's just throwing me off. I would like this bag in the uh, search mock-ups bag, tote bag. Obviously, I didn't make the tote bag. Can we do tote bag couch? Will it find it? Couch. Don't worry, we're going to get to the what you're doing marketing-wise. There it is. Okay, I just picked this one. I don't think I did the, uh, just the pattern one. You might have a lot more designs than I do because I'm brand new, right? I've made six sales, so I'm not... But I have made um, over $25,000 on my digital product store. I think it's over $30,000 now. Um... But uh, on this new store, it's um, six sales. <laughs> Under $100, but I know how to do marketing, so don't worry. Okay, this is the one I want. And it's going to upload it, and then we're going to crop it to the right size. And this one, I um, when I made it, I made it towards the bottom, so it's kind of purpley like that and we're going to crop it and it's not the perfect shape my normal pocketbook is or my normal tote bag is square but there this isn't your listing photo this is just a lifestyle photo and then we're going to download it it's thinking it's mad it doesn't take this long normally um it's because i'm recording my screen at the same time and i have a thousand windows open on another google drive you know yeah, no. So now we can go over to Canva and we can say upload media and mine upload into my delete me folder. Yours might upload into something different. Okay, now I am thinking I want, I want the bags kind of, ooh, are the bags going to be in the middle? Maybe we put the two bags. No, I want those different places. So I'm going to put this Oh, I lied to myself. I have this cute one already like that, but I need the other one. Hang on. I'm going to do that again. I'm not going to make you watch it. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it uploaded, and I'm going to put that one there, and I'm going to put this one here to kind of spread the, that kind of image around. And then I am just going to put my mock-ups kind of around Let's see, that was the witch one. Let's do this one in here. And you can still slide them in. See, they, they just pop in. Oh, that's nice and bright. I want to show you something because my friend Deb Ward, who is um, such a supporter of me and my shop. Oh, I kind of want, do I want this one here instead? Oh, that's fun because then it's all, because see, I can make this picture bigger um and move that right where i want it so these are on the left side are all the the pattern ones and on the right side are all the which please ones um but she's such a supporter of my shop and she <laughs> she has opinions all my friends have opinions they're an opinionated bunch of gals and she doesn't like when they're not bright. Like, so that isn't bright enough for her. So we're going to click edit image. And we're going to see if we can up the saturation to make it more colorful. And then up the brightness to make it brighter. See, but you can't make it that much brighter or it doesn't, um, it doesn't look as colorful anymore. So you got to kind of do the... In between so let's brighten this a little bit but we got to up the saturation a ton but I don't want it to look too saturated because I don't want people to think they're gonna get like a glow-in-the-dark bag but I do think we want it to be a little cuter than that was so now I have this pin and you can do I'll show you how to how to download it 
you're going to click download. And then I have a whole bunch of them set up here. I'm going to show you how I have mine set up. And then maybe we'll do some of them. But you could pick just this page this time, right? Current page. So uncheck all and pick the current page. Oh, oh I'm picking the page. Done. Download. So I'm going to show you the whole process and then um, that I do. And then I'm going to come back in and design some of the other ones. So if you're just looking for kind of my workflow of how I design these pins and how I share them and what I do to um, get them onto Pinterest, uh, you can do that. And then if you want to watch design and how I think about my different um, design ideas, you can keep watching. But just the workflow, we're going over to Tailwind now. So we have that picture downloaded. For lots of things like my um, website, I want to name that picture something correctly, like with the, uh, with the name of the product. But Tailwind, when they publish the photo, they make, um, they make their own name of the, p of the pin. So there's no sense in me going and changing the file name of this. Save yourself steps when you can. Okay, it's coming up. There we go. Okay, now I have to get my link for, I'm gonna send them to my holiday category for a number of different reasons. So number one, um, I could send them right to these tote bags, but uh, if my supplier goes away, oh, I keep clicking it. I'll just keep clicking it. So there's my cute picture. I want to change my URL first, because if nothing else, I want this to have the right URL. Now, I am going to go and cheat and just click on my listing, because I have a wonderful description already in here, I'm sure. So there's the title. There we go. Um, get the cutest trick or treat bags for your kiddos or you. Super fun and colorful Halloween bags in orange. I want keywords, right? And purple or pick the witch please bag okay i want um pumpkin or witch oh it's right i'm out i'm out of room i'm gonna get rid of carry all i'm gonna get rid of um art print colorful pumpkin or witch Trick or treat. Grocery sack. Okay. Um, I'm not sure that I have a board for this yet. All Etsy boards. Etsy vintage Etsy sellers. I'm going to have to make a board for this. So I'm not going to be able to schedule schedule this, but that's fine. Um, so I would just schedule this. The cool thing is you can even add to your communities so other people can share it. But what I would do is just come in here, set a custom time. I am going to go through and do this with all of the ones that I do. Um, I'm probably going to do, what I'll do is, here, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm making eight of them. So I'll do one today, one in a week, one in a week, one in two weeks, one in two weeks, because now we're in August. One in two weeks, one in two weeks, now we're in September, and people are going to be done buying their Halloween stuff by the 1st of October. So I want to get some of my um, listings out in the wild early, and I want to get um, the rest of them kind of near the time that people will be searching for stuff. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So that's my whole process. You use your colorful... You use your cute um, uh, lifestyle pins for this one. I have different kinds of pins I'm going to show you how to do if you don't happen to have lifestyle photos. 
You can get your lifestyle photos from Place It, use them in Canva, and then use Tailwind to schedule your pins out because they have shown numerous, numerous times that there's no difference with you uploading manually or you uploading um, with Tailwind. It doesn't make a difference and it's, I, I can schedule so many more pins. I can make more original pins that Pinterest likes and schedule them out than I can if I'm messing around with just trying to get trying to log in and and share pins and things like that. Okay, so let's see. We got some wide ones. Let's see what this looks like in there. Oh, this is cute. This is a um they have all they have what are called all different kinds of frames. Oh, that doesn't show up though. What is happening? What is up with this frame? Can I not move her up? Oh, I can move her up. Why couldn't I move the other lady up? Okay, that's cute. What about this one? Let's put this one in here. And oh, wait, that's at the bottom. Let's put this one in here. Yeah, we can move her up. There we go. So we can see the fun little flowers around her. Oh, I really love that. Now we can't see our words. We need to keep keep a reminder of that. Um, okay, this one's at the bottom, so that'll be good for the bottom. But do we want the... Oh, and then we'll do the pattern one in the middle. That's fair. Too high. And there's just all of these frames in... Um, if you go to elements and you look up frames, frame... all these are what they are and i'll show you i used all different ones to make these templates if you don't like making templates then um i have a friend named carly i will put a link to her um pinterest template uh it's really i'm i'm feeling like i'm really cheap it's like 20 bucks a month and she sends out all kinds of templates already made um, that's why I can't share my templates with you because some of them are, um, are actually like her templates. Okay. Oh, how about this one? Is this the same as that one? That's the same as, no, not quite. No. Okay. So we're going to slide this in and that has those cute flowers in it too. Okay. So we have a theme. This is good. Okay. That's wicked cute. I love that. Who wouldn't want to buy my bags? They're adorable. Okay. Now, what we need to decide is, do we need words? And I don't think I need words on this one. The words wouldn't add to it. This is just going to be pictures with my branding at the bottom. Okay. So, this is a get ready for Halloween. And I did this one with the idea that I was going to um, do all of my products, not just my bags, right? But for right now, I'm just going to slide my bags in here. I'm going to have a little mix of the, um, uh-oh, there we go. This will do it. And, and Canva formats them for us, so that's very nice. Let's get the other ones with the witch please on them. I like the witch please. And you don't need to think overly hard about this. This isn't, you know, if, 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 uh, so here's my thinking on your, I'm going to talk to you like you're my friends because I do boss my friends around too. My thinking is that I am not making something for all of posterity. I'm making a Pinterest pin and trying to attract people's attention, right? So what I'm trying to do is to stop the scroll and get them to go, Oh, wait a minute. What is this? What do I need for Halloween? And then they're going to see all my cute bags and then I'm going to send them to my Wizard of Alice store, right? So that's that's the idea. Um, something you can do, I know how to do Pinterest design, but if you're not as, um, as familiar with design, I do a lot of times, I will come over here and go to my home feed and do a search for, like I would search for trick or treat bags. Trick or treat bags. 
not tick or treat, trick or treat. Okay, so now we're gonna see, I don't, so it's on shop, which is awesome. So here we go. So 30 Halloween trick or treat bags. You see what their, um, what their thing is. That looks more like, um, I want shop. Is this shop? Maybe they're selling tutorials. But I want them, oh, here we go. Those are cute. So like three across, like mine. Mine just looks a little bit different. This is a tutorial. Here's one for sale, right? So we could do just that one there. There's one by itself. So we need one by itself. Let's go back to here. And I made this one down here because I thought this would be cute too. I have... Uh, get your kiddos the cutest bag and then the witch please one so what I can do it seems like they like the um, the bag all by itself so let's go to my Etsy store and there is the bag all itself save image as desktop oh that's a web P WebP means it's part of the web page, so I'm just going to screen capture this. We want it a little bit bigger so you can see it, right? Let's go do the um, other one too while we're here. Do, 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 do. There it is. Cute bag. Cute bag. Oh, my art is so cute. All right. I just became an artist. Like, I'm all full of myself right now because I'm in my 50s. Now I'm in my... I'm 55, going to be 56, which I feel like makes me have to say soon I'm in my late 50s, but I'm in my mid-50s right this second. Um, so I just started painting, and so I'm super excited about it. So, you know, a little braggy-braggy, but not, not crazy braggy. Okay, our bags are up, so we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to pull this up so they can see it, right? And on this one, I just want to make sure I didn't, I made a copy of my, oh good, okay. So on this one, they don't want these things, they just want the bag, right? So we're going to say... Does, does, does there say trick-or-treat bag? What does it say? Or is it just the bag? It's just the bag. I can't do just the bag. You can do just the bag. I have to say, get your kiddos the cutest bag. How about if we say, get... the cutest trick-or-treat bag. Does it fit? It fits! Yay, us. Okay, now I have this as a grouping, so I'm going to move this down here because I feel like it's distracting at the top. And we're going to move all of this up. Something's weird. Maybe it's the bag, the, the screen capture of the bag. Okay, a tip. If you hit shift and the key, it will move it over five places at a time. So if you don't want to have to do onesie, onesie, onesie. I think this turned out wicked cute, don't you? That's a good pin. I would buy that bag. Okay, so get your kiddos the cutest bag. This doesn't match anything else, but sometimes you want one here and there that is um, is uh, like a wild card. And I got that image from in here. Now I pay the extra for the Canva. Um, so I want photos. I want to click cancel this and I'm going to say trick or treat because ain't nobody got time to make their kids dress up and take pictures of them and then I just want photos and there's all kinds of cute photos of kids trick or treating so say you were selling um, Christmas decor or Halloween decor you would just look up Halloween and see if there's anything that you can use, like Halloween decorations, Halloween decor, whatever. 
Or you could use a super cute background like this, put black on the top and put your um, piece on top of that. Okay, let's keep going. I don't mind the Wizard of Alice on the top on that one. I don't know why. This one is just, these are just kind of boring. I'm not going to show you how to do those. This one's a little fancy. This one's a spooky Halloween. So let's go to our uploads. And I think I'll probably do that same thing. Ooh, now I have the, the, let's see what this does. Now I have the plain thing. Oops, oopsie. I just hit delete to get rid of it, right? Right. Okay, we're going to put that there. And we're going to put this in this one. And see if we can pull them up to see a bit more of them. I almost think I want to put, rather than that, I am going to put the witch please because I'm doing my actual work here you know this is this is my job I'm only doing this video you need to thank um you need to thank Rebecca Welch who coaches Etsy people um you need to thank her because she nagged me and said she needed this for her people and I'm like, I'm working on it right now. And she said, well, record what you're doing. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll record what I'm doing. And so now you have this lovely video. I'll probably make a blog post about it, like the tools I use to make my roundup posts. Oh, look how cute that is. My design is so darn cute. I think that's all we got. Yeah, but that's good. Okay, and then we're going to slide left. Oh, we could do left, top, right, bottom. So I do kind of want the ones with it in the middle. So let's do this one. And you're, so you're not trying to sell them a product on your pin, right? That's not possible. What you're trying to do is get them functionally to save it and to go, oh, I want to look into this, you know, next, you know, when I'm looking for my Halloween bags, I want to save this pin and then maybe I'll come check this um, product out because they say that um, Pinterest is a, you know, it's, it's a, sh they're going for being a shopping platform and a dreaming platform. So I want these people to have my um, beautiful Halloween bag saved so when they're ready to buy one I'm there for them right so each one of these pins isn't something precious each one of these pins is just trying to have something that will intrigue somebody enough to save the pin or best case scenario to head on over to my shop to buy it but to me, this is um, planting seeds, right? Like the more seeds I have out there, the more chance that somebody will see it, the more chance Pinterest will pick up one of my pins because it stands out from the other ones. Like I'm gonna have a whole bunch of normal ones, right? Like all the other pins. Um, I feel like this one's a little different. I like that one. Um, the first one is very product, you know, this is a product for you to look at. Um, that one I feel like is really, really different. Somebody may have to take a look at it to see what it is. Um, and the, the one with the, uh, those are all going to be the, the same. Um, this one could stand out because that we seen on Pinterest that the, the one with just the bag stood out. So what I would do is do this. Take this out, right? And then do the other bag. Nope, that isn't what I was trying to do. And then do the other bag too, right? So don't make this harder on yourself. The more pins I have to schedule in Tailwind, takes two minutes to schedule them in Tailwind. So, oh, there's a, there's a picture thing in there. Hold on, I can just plop it. Does it work in there? Do we like it? Oh, it's fine. No, 
we don't like the picture thing on this one. Um, so sometimes you just have to mess around with the graphics, right? A little bit to make them work. Uh, but each of these things that I do is going to help me to have a chance for somebody to see my cute little bag and go, oh, I need a Halloween bag. Because honestly, nobody needs a Halloween bag. Uh, grocery bags from the, um, from the grocery store would work, right? But how fun would it be to have a cute little bag like this? So anyways, that is designing pins for your product pictures. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.